Um, that was a thing. That was my first time driving in it ever. And, well, you can see there's a bunch of snow and ice on the ground and, you know, giant robots don't really like snow and ice in slippery conditions because the drive motor, aka my snow blower, um, was kind of slipping on all this slushy stuff. But it should be uh, warming up over the next week or so and hopefully a lot of the snow will go bye-bye and I can drive it around some more. And uh, I'll show you something inside the cockpit. It looks like a big mess. Down here are the steering pedals, which I did not label and honestly should have made them sideways so they were more intuitive. Here we've got the uh, stick shift, so you gotta remember that if you wanna go backwards, you pull it back. If you wanna go forwards, you pull it forwards. This PVC uh, L is actually the clutch, which makes the mech actually go forward and back, and there's some tension issues with it probably, but it's something I should work with. I started out turning to the right because I forgot that the steering indicator was inverted. Yeah, had the silly thing in reverse. So instead of going towards the camera in the video, I went away from the camera. And that annoying beeping that you hear is the battery pack for the optical system, which is falling asleep on me. So that's just like a simple um, battery pack that you know you use to keep your computer going in the case of a power outage. Uh, cable for the uh, monitor got disconnected. I need to work on the wire management because here's a battery pack, we've got a power strip coming from it, and we've got the uh, power brick for the uh, monitor, we've got the power brick for the um, Raspberry Pi, and there's all this spaghetti coiling around and a camera that's on a VGA that goes all the way up into the head, and of course the view from the head. I got to adjust the camera slightly because the uh, part of the wide angle lens I have on it it's kind of occluding it, so I gotta get up there and poke it with a stick. And of course our keyboard for the optical system, it's just a Raspberry Pi. I've got some uh, gooey gigas and stuff. So when I was actually driving around in this thing, I was seeing where I was by looking out in this view right here. This is a live view, um, it's probably hard to tell unless I toss something um, out so you can see. Uh, here we go, we'll tr toss this glove, we'll go... Uh, da, 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 da. Whoop! Nope, wasn't far enough. And we'll try another glove. We'll go... Da, 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 yoink! Nope, still can't see it. But, um, I don't know, I guess, trust me, it's a live feed, it's just nothing very interesting out there. I mean, I'm the only one working on this thing, so... <laughs> There are some uh, arms hiding under the dust cover, which these uh, Waldo's control. Um, I've got a dust cover cloak over it because uh, the cockpit isn't exactly waterproof. And it is winter, and it's snowing and raining and... Oh, hey, look, the gloves. All sorts of crazy stuff, so... Gotta try to keep this, you know, a little bit proven against the weather. There's the other Waldo, which is over there, tucked behind some support struts out of the way. And some of the arm mechanism you can see uh, through. But that is, I guess, all for this video. Got a little test run. I'm going to be making another video without the arms um, covered. Try flailing them around as I drive around. But I don't think I will be able to until some more of this snow melts. I mean, it's supposed to be warming up, up in the 40s, for the next uh, week or so. So hopefully, 
um, the rest of my driving space will look like right down here. So the mech won't be churning and spinning its wheels in the slush. It'll instead be spinning in the mud. But I can just put some sand down to fix that. So, that is all for today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you, um, not sure when this is going out, but I'll probably be filming a full test this upcoming weekend. I don't know, it all depends how the driveway looks. Well, driveway, driving area, whatever looks. So, uh, yeah. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.